Hi, my name is Miss Rowan. I'm the subject lead for A-Level Biology here at Copperston High School. Um, students that are thinking of taking biology um, absolutely should. It's a fascinating subject, studying the world around us and all the living things within it. Uh, not only that, we tend to find that um, students find topics at GCSE that they're curious about and raise questions, and we really delve into those topics and answer those questions at A-Level Biology, uh, which students always love. The following presentation will answer lots of the questions about how the course is run, um, but if you do have any more questions, then please use the contact details at the end to get in touch. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so welcome to the Biology um, Virtual Open Evening for Copleston Sixth Form. This presentation is going to give you more information about the course, how it's run, and what students can expect um, if they were to study biology for their two years here at Copleston Sixth Form. First of all, um, it's worth pointing out that A-level biology is the most popular of the three science disciplines because it's the best, of course, not that I'm biased. Um, and students go on to um, use biology in a range of different careers. Um, so obviously you can see some of those on the screen there, forensics, for example, nursing, medicine, physiotherapy, teaching and paramedics. That's not an exhaustive list. So biology is a really well-respected qualification. And so often we find um, students have a keen interest in biology, but they may want to go on a slightly different um, discipline for their career and it still helps them to get there. So who delivers the course? So here you can see uh, myself. So I'm Miss Rowe, the biology lead, um, and I'm helped by Miss Pickering, Mr. Reeve and Miss Rosier. And um, the really experienced team, you get nine lessons of biology over the um, fortnight. So that's delivered between two of a combination of the teachers that you can see on the screen. Entry requirements. So there is um, no scooting around it. Biology is a challenging subject um, at sixth form level and at A level level. So we do ensure that our students are well equipped um, to deal with the demands of the course. So we do ask for a grade six. Um, so if a student has subbed a triple science, then we ask for a grade six in biology, but um, we also accept grade um, sixes from combined science as well, so dual award students. Um, and we do also ask for a grade five in maths just um, to ensure that students are able to um, cope, ha um, cope happily with the uh, math skills that are required in the course as well. So what do students actually study if they choose biology as a subject? Um, well, first of all, it's point, worth pointing out that we follow um, the OCR Biology A um, specifications. So that's our exam board. Um, and they follow a course that's split into six modules. So um, practical skills, as you can see, is something that's embedded all the way across year 12 and year 13. It's one of the huge things that um, attract students to the subject um, because they get to do a range of different practicals using equipment and um, setups that they've never seen before at GCSE. Um, they then move on in year 12 to look at foundations in biology, um, which underpins a lot of the other modules, so it fits in really nicely and has this really nice flow to it. Uh, they then move on to exchange and transport, which they will have covered at GCSE, but we look at it in a much wider variety of organisms than we've done before. So we tend to focus on humans at GCSE, but we look at how, say, an insect and transport stuff around its body as well, which they won't have come across before. Um, and then we also look at biodiversity, evolution and disease. So they get a real feel for um, the body's immune system, different types of immunity. Um, again, in a lot more detail than what we would have covered before at GCSE. Um, we have we split sort of module six into two. So we actually do a small section of it um, in year 12, offshore and after we do field work. Um, and then that leads us into year 13, um, where we do lots of stuff to do with like um, nerves and hormone communication, but also um, we go into a lot more depth into respiration and um, photosynthesis and the biochemistry involved. And um, my personal highlight um, is uh, genetics and evolution. It's a really nice way to finish the course. Um, you'll notice as well that um, due to there being fewer modules taught in year 13, we actually have that built in revision time where we help students with their exam technique and we really pride ourselves um, on that because we think it gets the best um, out of the students. 
So how does the actual assessment work? So um, the course is linear, so that means the exams at the end of year 13, um, students sit three exam papers, um, which each co um, cover a, a different combination of modules. You can see paper one covers modules one, two, three, and five. So the practical skills are in every bit of the paper, and so is um, the foundations of biology as well, that unit as well. Um, paper three one covers everything that we've learnt, um, and it's a great way of getting students to link together ideas from what seem like seemingly separate topics, but actually you get this feel for how all of biology is sort of intermingled with, with all these ongoing concepts. So why should you study biology at Copleston? Um, so our team is fantastic. Um, we have a team of teachers who are totally dedicated to their students. Um, we're well experienced and we push our students to go that extra mile and really spark their curiosity. So it's not just here's what you need to know for the exam. But it's all about inspiring the students to go away and find out more and take the topics that we've learned in school. And can you apply it to this really cool and strange example in the real world. Um, but not only that, we don't just work on their knowledge, but we also try to give students the skills to make them successful in sixth form as a whole. So it's working on like how to how do they know how to improve their memory um, and what is their best, most effective way to, to revise. So we look at their revision skills, um, but also we, we focus on the exam technique in order to get them um, the best possible uh, grade that we can. So here we have also a picture of all of the different resources that are available. So students get um, their own annotated textbooks, but they also get support with um, how to um, help them with their math skills. And they also get um, a course handbook, which you can see in the bottom right of the image. Um, so that's just for students to use. It's got a list of every single key term that they would need to know for each particular topic and lots of recall questions as well, just to really help them um, ensure that they can recall everything that we cover in the course. Um, and then we also encourage students to get a, a, a revision guide as well. And so we have one of our recommended revision guides there. Um, so if that's not enough reason, then there are also some highlights throughout um, the two years, which are um, just great days out in general, really. So um, we look at biodiversity and how to conserve it and the role of zoos in conservation of biodiversity. And so one of the trips that we do is to get um, some of the course actually delivered by our experts um, that we're in close contact with at Colchester Zoo. Um, we also have a day out to RSPB Minsmere. So you will may have remembered that we you get something called a practical endorsement. Um, and so what we have is one of those skills is, is sampling an ecosystem. And so what we do is we um, work closely with the educational team at RSPB Minsmere to um, sample a section of the beach, um, but also look at some of the extensive wateries and how they're managed as well. And it's just generally a nice day out. And we even do a little bit of pond dipping um, and you can see the fruits of that labour in the bottom image there. So, um, what are students' views? So, if you don't want to take my word, um, this has come from one of our current Year 13 students, um, and I won't read it out to you, but hopefully you can see that it's not just us saying that um, we enthuse the students, but um, they'll tell you the same story as well. So not only that, our students achieve good grades. So 82% um, of our students last year got A star to C grades, um, and a third of them were actually above their student target grade. Um, and every single student passed their biology as well. If you have any questions at all about anything that I've mentioned in this video or anything further that you'd like me to um, talk about, then just give me an email. My email address is on the screen. Um, thanks very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed listening.